And welcome, 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 everybody, back to another episode of Gaming with Graveplot. I am Max Health here, and I am going to be chatting about Darkest Dungeon, a wonderful dungeon crawler by the Red Hook Studios. Um, not to be considered with, uh, not be uh, confused with the Red Hook Brewery, uh, based out here in Washington State. Darkest Dungeon is a wonderful dungeon crawler, as I've already said, uh, that has a lot of roguelike elements and permadeath situations. Um, Darkest Dungeon is a challenging gothic roguelike turn-based RPG about the psychological stresses of adventuring. You can recruit, train, and lead a team of flawed heroes against unimaginable horrors, stress, famine, disease, and the ever-encroaching darkness. Can you keep your heroes together when all hope is lost? Now, I know what you're thinking. What a well-crafted paragraph. Well, that's directly from the Steam store page, which uh, you can go on to Steam and purchase it. Uh, just search Darkest Dungeon. It is part of their Halloween deal where you can get it off for 60% off. It is currently $9.99 and not $24.99. This game is worth $30, um, let alone $10. So so you're getting triple the, uh, triple the amount uh, there uh, personally. So Darkest Dungeon, um, I've played roughly probably about 50 hours of this game uh, between the PS4 and PC edition. Uh, it is available on the PS4. I'm not too sure about the Xbox One. Um, I don't I don't believe Xbox One Darkest Dungeon. Uh, it may appear on xbox one but it, right now it is not on xbox one only ps4 and steam currently uh, and as well as i believe tablets uh but i'm not gonna i'm not gonna belabor the point darkest dungeon like i said is a wonderful wonderful little dungeon crawler uh which is de defiantly large um the game is 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 uh relies heavily on on gothic medieval uh kind of not not truly medieval, but like gothic Victorian era artwork. Um, as you can see by the menu screen right here, it's uh, it's you know it's very foreboding. So uh, I'm just gonna jump into here. And uh, one of the really really cool things about Darkest Dungeon is that uh, the game is narrated by Wayne June, who is <laughs> right here. Uh, that that voice in the background, Wayne June. He is quite quite the voice talent um he has done quite a lot of hp lovecraft uh voiceover work as well as other video games um as well as uh, uh hundreds of different things but he's he's pretty well known in the uh he has a very distinct low dark voice uh that that kind of lends itself to these kinds of games these kind this kind of media um <clears throat> so Darkest Dungeon, like I said, is a turn-based uh, RPG with roguelike elements, which means that uh, your life and your world and, and everything, uh, they progress through the game while you do missions. But missions are really just, uh, you know, you need to go out and kill this thing in this area, or you need to go and complete all of the rooms in this area. Um, you can have uh, up to four characters uh, in your in your party, but you can have uh, multiple. Actually, down on, down on the side here, you can see that I have 16 available slots, while 13 of them are are used. Um, you have you have uh, this little white bar here is the uh, the stress. So the one cool thing is that this game is not just about health. And not just about, oh, if you reach zero life, then you're going to die. Um, it, this is truly about about having, uh, maintaining your, your character's life. You can't just go out and have one person do everything for the entire game. You have to be smart. You have to, you have to, uh, look at, at the mission ahead. Like, uh, let's, let, let's show D uh, Dismas right here. So this is a highwayman and there's several different classes um there are good druids and abominations which can turn into other monsters there's the highwayman which is more of a uh more of a uh ranged class there's archers there's arbalists there's knights there's uh plague doctors there are people with dogs there's so many many cool uh cool ways of putting together your uh putting together your your team 
Um, but unfortunately, if they die, they, they're dead. They're dead dead. They're permadeath. Uh, you cannot get them back. And that is one of the reasons why you have to be very, very careful about where you're going to go and which missions you do and when. Um, so here you can see that Dismas is a veteran hi hi highwayman. Um, he is level 3, which means that I've done quite uh, quite a few missions with him. You can see that he, that each character has quirks, uh, which are positive as a negative, like... Dismas here, he can uh, he is 15% stun resist and plus two to speed. But the problem is, is that he also has a weak grasp, uh, a weak grip on life, which uh, he is. If you reach zero life, you don't automatically die. You're put on death's door. So if you're on death's door, every single time that you take a hit, you have a chance of dying. So this 10% minus chance. 10% uh, death blow resist means that you have a 10% higher chance of dying if you get hit during your death, uh, your death, you know, area, uh, death's door. Um, kleptomaniac, prone to stealing items. I can show you this in just a little bit, but all these, uh, all these red things are are bad quirks, and these are good quirks uh, over here on the on the left. Um, you also have equipment, um, which are either trinkets or weapons. Um, you up you upgrade your uh, weapons through the hub menu, which is over here, um, which I'll show you in just a second. You have all the resistances. It's very, very RPG heavy. Um, you see all of the different debuffs, move speed, blight resist, which is poison, disease, which is uh, another sort of poison, because down here you'll have diseases where you can actually get diseases um, like... Having rabies is actually not bad because you gain like four or five accuracy, but you lose 10% speed or 20% speed or 30% speed, whichever it is. So the really, really interesting thing about the combat, uh, the combat stance uh, world for Darkest Dungeon is that it's dealt with um, lanes. Uh, and if you're a, a MOBA fan, you'll understand the lane thing a little bit. Uh, but each, each, each person, uh, each character has their preferred lane that they want to stay in. So Dismas here wants to stay in lane 2 or 3, or if you want to say 2 or 3 over here. So it goes 1, 2, 3, and 4, and then 1, 2, 3, and 4. So basically, he, he likes to be in the middle so he can hit things in the middle. Whereas, let's see, Columbrius here wants to be in the front so he can hit people in the front because he's more of a... A hack and slash crusader kind of character and that plays a lot of um that 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 plays a lot into the way that the game is played this is your hub world you have the stagecoach where you can recruit new heroes the tavern where you can relieve stress which is major because if you get to a hundred stress you gain a bad quirk oh no sorry you have a heart attack uh and you can gain a bad quirk or die um the sanitarium which you can treat quirks and diseases the Abbey, which is another stress relief. Some places, uh, some people can't uh, can't go to the Abbey, or they can't gamble, or they can't have their night with a with a uh, Lady of the Night, which is a way of also stress relieving, um, because they have a quirk that says that they can't. Like they enjoy gambling, but they're too they're too far gone to pray for for salvation. Um, you have the graveyard where you can see all of your fallen heroes. You have the guild where you can upgrade your combat skills or purchase new skills. Um, you have the Ancestor's Memoirs, which is a, uh, basically a, a story, a story world that you can go through and see all of them. Nomad Wagon, you can buy some trinkets. Uh, the Blacksmith is where you upgrade your, your heroes and weapons, so basically you can, you can decide whether or not you want to, uh, uh, you know, you want to have... All, all of your characters on a nor on a level playing field, or if you want to just uh, build up two or three of your own characters and take them out week by week by week, because each each mission takes a week, uh, and then you'll come back. Uh, health health resets uh, after every fight, or sorry, after every mission, but stress uh, does not, and neither do quirks. So if they're high on stress, uh, I don't have anybody super high on stress, but this guy, so Dismas has 3 out of 10 stress, which is 30 out of 100 stress, but if he gets to 100, he'll have a heart attack, get a quirk, and then if he has another 100, he can go insane, and he'll have a super bad quirk, like one that's not worth having anymore, uh, where I would want to actually throw him away, 
or have him uh, have him skedaddle. Uh, survivalist, so you can also uh, on on longer missions, what you can do is you can you can camp, so you can heal stress, heal heal yourself, maybe uh, take away some poison, all that good stuff. So for survivalist is. Hey, you tell a joke and everybody laughs and forgets that they're in the darkness for 10, you know, for the night and they heal 15 stress, which is very, very good. Um, you have to you have to be cognitive of a lot more than just health, which is really, really interesting and not something that a lot of games delve into. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and embark real quick. I'm not going to play the whole mission because they're kind of they, they can be quite kind of long. So here we'll embark on the uh, on the estate. We're going to go kill the wise and hag. Uh, money, you can get gold, you can get deeds and crests, which are used to upgrade your shops, all that good stuff, your hub world, and also we'll get a legendary bracer for our troubles. But each trinket actually has a negative, so like, I'll have 20% damage, which is really, really good, but I'll also be really, really slow and have a higher stress uh, gaining level. So every time I gain stress, I'll actually be getting more because of this bracer. So it's a very monkey's paw sort of situation. Um, I'm gonna just uh, bring Dismas here. He wants to be in the middle, right? Oh, he doesn't want to go because he's too high a level. That's insane. Uh, so there's uh, there's five areas. The uh, the fourth, sorry, the fifth area, darkest dungeon, um, is the final. You know, the final area. Whereas these four are um, are basic. You know, basic areas. But we'll go ahead and uh, we'll go ahead and see if he wants to go here. You want to go here? You won't. Okay. Well, we're gonna take. We're gonna take you. Where do you want to go? You want to be in the back. Okay, we'll put you in the back. He's he's an occultist, one of my favorite characters because he um, because he likes to uh, do things with uh, ba -ba -ba, like Cthulhu and the Eldritch Horrors, and which is a super super big boon for me because I'm a big fan of all of that Eldritch nonsense. So let's let's find somebody who wants to be in the second. What Thibault? Sure, why not? Boom. So we're gonna take uh, we're gonna take these people out here. Uh, we can provision where we're gonna have um, money, and uh, you know, we'll buy some food. We'll buy a shovel. We'll buy some bandages. We'll buy a key. We'll buy some torches. And uh, let's just embark. I just want to give you a, a quick overview of kind of the world of uh, of Darkest Dungeon because it's one of the most fascinating systems in the game or in in gaming that i've seen so let's go here uh so like i said the 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 different the different lanes are you know one two three and four and then here i'll want to click on the map uh to go to this next room and you actually have to physically walk uh to the next room and you'll see that actually there's a little curio here and you can click on it and it has a map, so it actually gives us uh, the the ability to see where you know to see kind of where we're going. Now, as we're going along, this is our our light here, which obviously with the name Darkest Dungeon, you'll you'll not want to be in the dark too long unless you have trinkets that you fight better in the dark, or you're a blind character or whatnot. Um, that's that's all uh, something that's in the game. Uh, but let's get into a fight, uh, and I'll show you the combat, and then we'll uh, we'll call it a a quick little informational video because this is actually actually one of the smartest ways. See, so for some reason I just gained stress probably due to the yep yeah, because I, I I went into the next level of darkness, so I actually have a higher percentage of getting stress just by walking. So we're walking, walking. See, he got stress. Oh, hey, there's a curio here. Uh, I don't know. So each curio has a different interaction with an with an item that that you can have. Uh, so I'll I'll just I'll just play it. Uh, but unfortunately, there wasn't anything there. We're gonna keep on walking. It looks like uh, there's some some shadowy here. Uh, you can get surprised um, if you are attacked, uh, which means that you're you're lining up in in the world or in in. Uh, so one, two, three, and four, they can be all, you know, mixed up, which sucks because if you're, you know, if you've built your your team just in a way where things can attack properly, if it's all screwed up, it can it can really ruin a mission. And it can be an easy fight and still ruin. So uh no no fights. This is uh this is a little bit unheard of here. But uh let's let's go ahead here 
And actually, you'll see here on the map, um, you'll see that there is a... I got trapped because I didn't have a high enough... Um, I didn't have enough... Uh, what's up? Hey, unburned torch. There we go. Uh, I got loot. Yeah, I'll take it. Um, but because I didn't have a high enough trap disarmament skill, which is seen here, right here. I only have a 10%. I shouldn't have used it. Um, it I actually got hurt. Uh, it took eight eight health from me, so that sucks. Give me, give, give, give me a fight. No fight. There's a battle right here. Okay. We're, we're, we're gonna go fight. But first, we're gonna light it up a little bit so we can... Boom. Okay, so we're fighting some bugs. <clears throat> there are so many di different kinds of enemies. There are cosmic creatures. There are hags. There are ghosts. There are disgusting, awful mosquito creatures. Uh, there's so many, 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 many different kinds of uh, kinds of enemies. Uh, and so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hit crush on this guy. It didn't do a whole bunch of damage, but what I can do is I can actually do Hound's Harry, and it's going to hit all three of them. So I killed him. They're they're all bleedy because I hit so much for so much damage. I actually gained stress, or, or I, I reduced stress. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do Sacrificial Stab, and he killed him. And then I'm going to crush this guy with my sword. So. I know that that's looked a lot, you know, I know that that looked easy, but the game, the game is really, really, really tough um, a lot of the times. And, you know, you'll walk and if you have to walk backwards, you'll, you'll gain, um, you'll gain stress higher because you can't see where you're going. Um, there are different curios, like I just said, you'll, you'll gain different kinds of gold or rubies or mounts or not mounts, um, busts and, uh, and all of that, you'll find you know, you'll find different trinkets, and all of that. Let's go to the next room and just see if 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 we find anything. If it's a fight, great. If it's not, I'll call it uh, I'll call it good. Okay, so there's no so there's nothing here. This scout. Uh, so this is the mission. I'm going to abandon the quest. I'm gonna get I'm gonna get stress because if you abandon the quest, you you lose uh, you gain a lot of stress for all of your characters. You don't get any of the. Uh, you don't get any of the heirlooms, but you still get to keep your. Um, I got Warren Scrounger. That's that's okay. I'm not. I'm not gonna play this this uh, this loadout again. Um, I'm, I'll go ahead and play again. Um, there are weekly events where if uh, there are like random chances. So if you go to the Warrens one of these days, you or one of these weeks, you can go and get more money. Or if you go to the Cove, there's a higher chance of fighting a monster that you have to get. Uh, a piece of loot from so you can complete the can com complete and go to the darkest dungeon stuff like that so there's a lot of dynamic uh there's a, a ton of dynamic content here darkest dungeon you can go and buy it on steam and the ps4 right now on for halloween steam is selling it at 60 percent off it's only ten dollars this game is worth well more so much content so much fun i'm max health you've been the viewer i've been the streamer I'm going to tag out, but first, you can also follow me on Twitter at twitter.com backslash wrestle subtitle, or just look up wrestling with subtitles. You'll find me everywhere there. All right. Thank you so much for uh, joining me for episode two of Gaming with Grave Plot. This has been The Darkest Dungeon by Red Huck Studios. Go purchase it and don't be afraid of the dark.